Why has life on Earth changed again and again, while they never did? Their shape needs no corrections. Their bodies work flawlessly. They simply exist, outside of time, outside of change sharks, majestic and dangerously calm. Evolution always changes life, searching for better solutions and fixing its mistakes. But with sharks, it simply stopped. Their body is an ideal mechanism. A streamlined shape cuts through the water. Powerful muscles under the skin provide acceleration. A flexible spine drives the movement, and the fins stabilize like wings. A shark has no unnecessary parts. Every motion is economical and precise. And this isn't just a form built to survive. It's an optimal design that needs no updates. It works so well that time has stopped changing it. Sharks can see almost in complete darkness. Their eyes catch even the faint glow of moonlight. They hear movement from kilometers away and sense the smallest vibrations in the water through thousands of tiny pores. The Ampelae of Lorenzini they detect the electric fields of living creatures, like living antennas receiving raw signals. And one more instinct, blood. Sharks can pick up its trace even at minimal concentration, like a chemical beacon in the water. All these senses work together, making a shark a creature you simply cannot catch off guard. Let's break down the most fascinating shark species. And first, we head to Australia, their natural habitat, where the great white shark is encountered most often. Speed, absolute control. The great white shark is a creature evolution, shaped for millions of years and eventually stopped modifying. It grows up to six meters and can reach two tons, yet moves as if it weighs 10 times less. There are no weak spots in its body. Powerful muscles, a strong tail, precise turns, a flexible spine. Everything works for speed and control. A great white can accelerate to 40 kilometers per hour, striking not in anger, but with the precision of a calculated attack. It also has a rare feature, partial warm-bloodedness. It can warm its muscles and brain, giving it speed, reaction, and stability even in cold water. It doesn't attack the first thing it sees. It waits for the moment, and when that moment comes, there are no mistakes. Now we head north, to a place where the ocean feels more like eternity than water, into the frozen depths of Greenland and Iceland, where a creature lives that defeats time itself. The Greenland shark isn't a hunter. It's living age. It moves slowly, almost lazily, yet lives three century lives. Some individuals are older than empires, older than nations, older than every human who ever sailed these waters. Its skin is covered in parasites. Its eyes are clouded with a milky film, the result of constant damage, almost blindness. But none of that stops it. It swims, quietly, steadily, never in a hurry. It has no chase strategy. Its strategy is time. It feeds on whatever the ocean brings, dead fish, seals, remains of large animals. It doesn't hunt, it waits. For it, a decade is a moment, a century is a breath, and maybe that's its secret. When you live hundreds of times longer than your enemies, you don't have to be fast, you just have to be inevitable. The Greenland shark is proof that survival comes in many forms. Sometimes it's not about strength, not about speed, but about patience that lasts for centuries. Now we head to the west coast of the United States, into the warm waters near San Francisco, where the fastest creature among all sharks, faster than a strike, faster than the eye can register. This is the mako shark. It loves warm water, and here it shows everything it's capable of. The mako is the fastest shark on Earth. It can accelerate up to 70 kilometers per hour, and its attack looks like a flash. Its body is built for speed. A short snout, powerful muscles, rigid fins, and tiny tooth-like scales that reduce drag. It isn't a giant, about two to three meters long, sleek, dense, perfectly assembled. Every millimeter of its body is designed for acceleration. Its long, needle-like teeth allow it to catch the fastest fish, tuna and swordfish, because it's the only one fast enough to reach them. The mako is pure energy, a burst, a turn, a strike, and silence. If the great white is power, then the mako is speed. There's one more important detail when we talk about sharks. Almost always, Megalodon appears on that list. Megalodon wasn't an eternal shark, but an extinct ancient relative, a giant 15 to 18 meters long with jaws the size of a human predator that mainly hunted early whales. It lived millions of years ago and disappeared around 3.5 million years back. The reasons aren't fully known. Cooling oceans, the decline of large prey, competition with other predators. Today, all that remains of Megalodon are fossilized teeth and traces in ancient rock. Everything we see in the ocean now belongs to completely different sharks. The world
world was always changing. Currents, climate, food chains, even the oceans themselves were rebuilt again and again. Sharks didn't resist, they simply adapted. They slowed down when food was scarce and sped up when speed meant survival. They dove deeper when the surface became dangerous and returned when the sea came back to life. They changed their behavior, but not their shape, and that was enough for evolution to leave their bodies untouched. Their strategy is simple, save energy when needed, and explode with speed at the right moment. The form stays the same, but the behavior is always flexible, and that internal adaptability is what makes sharks resilient to any change. We build cities, we cover coastlines with concrete, stretch nets, leave trash behind, change the climate layer by layer, but sharks are still here. They swim among plastic bags, debris, torn nets and metal scraps, and keep living as if nothing has happened. They don't care what the world looks like, frozen overheated or plastic. They adapt faster than humans can destroy. They'll dive deeper if the water above is filthy. They'll rise higher if life is richer there. They don't need order, only water and movement. And if one day humans disappear, the ocean won't even pause. The surface will grow quieter, the currents cleaner, and somewhere below, among the remains of what we left behind, a shadow will keep moving a shark. Thank you for watching until the very end. If you enjoyed this journey into the world of sharks, leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe. Subscribe so you don't miss the next stories. There's much more to come. See you in the next video.